All right. So the first question is, where were you born? I was born in Millerstown, Pennsylvania, Greenwood Township, out Little Fouts' Valley. Uh, it formerly was the Dakota store with a farm right there side of it. I was born in the Stone House there, December the 5th, 1928. Do you know if Isaphine was born there? No. She was born three years earlier over in what's in Liverpool Township, which is Toad Halla, up there, the next house to my grandparents. Okay. Uh, okay. So, what is one of your first memories? Of living? Yeah. Of, when I was 10 months old, I don't remember anything of the stone house I was born in. I was 10 months old when we moved from there, but I remember very well where we moved out to Billy Whitner's uh, rental place is where I remember the first people. I remember Mrs. Whitmer and uh, Mr. Whitmer, and they had two boys, Ray and Leroy, and I remember them very good. How how long did you live there? Uh, I lived there. I was ten months old when I moved when we moved there, and I was uh, ten years old when we left there. So it was pretty close to ten years we lived there, and we moved from there. We bought a house over in Prairie Valley, Liverpool Township, a little village called Centerville, <laughs> and that's where uh, I can remember most of my childhood. Uh, um, so who's the oldest relative that you can remember? The oldest relative that I can remember is my granddad, Phillips. Uh, I can't tell you the date uh, exactly when he died, but I think I was around five years old uh, when he passed away. But he, he was a farmer had a small farm, that's where my, my mother was born and raised at. It was outside of Oriental. Outside uh, of Oriental? Yes. Okay. Do, is there anything that you remember about him? Well, what I remember about him, he had a big mustache. <laughs> and, and he was a tall, slim guy. Okay. Yeah. Do you remember her at all, your, your grandma? Yes, I remember her. After my grand uh, dad passed away, my grandmother sold the farm and had sale, and she lived. A, she had uh, five daughters and one son, mm -hmm. and the five daughters lived uh, relatively close around here. And she took her turns at staying at their each one of their houses. She used to spend about six weeks at our place, and she'd go to the next one. And, stay about six weeks or two months, and that's the way she kept rotating. She died then approximately, uh, I can't tell you the exact date, but approximately about ten years later. Okay. What, what was her name? Uh, Catherine. They called her Kate Brown. Kate Brown. And that's who my mother was named after. Catherine. Yeah. And then Katie was named after Catherine, too. Well, she was named... Katie's two great grandmothers were uh, Katie's. Okay. And she had two of them. One, her grand, great grandmother Brookhart was Katie, and then, mm -hmm. of course, uh, her great grandmother Crowley was named Katie or Catherine. Okay. All right. Um, so, do you know how your parents met? That I can't tell you. Uh, all I know is that my Uncle Paul Ernest's mm -hmm. wife, which was my Aunt Mildred, and my dad were pretty close friends, and they both, they both married sisters. Okay. Uh, but how they met, them, I don't know. I, I can't answer that. Okay, but you do know, you remember that story about them being out at the, uh, um, that speaking. Dad were there, 
and they got in a fight outside, of course, which was common at that time, <laughs> having fights. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the one. Um, oh, I forget the name of it, but, uh, Poly yeah. The Pollyanna. The Pollyanna. It was Yeah. Fun. Yeah, it was a pretty wild place, I guess. Yeah. Um, and this all took place uh, through a, a prohibition. You know, prohibition. That, yeah. And uh, I think there was more... Uh, booze there than what there was before that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you uh, know when they got married? Uh, no, I can't answer that okay. one. Uh, but at that time, there wasn't very many big weddings. They just the couple just went to the minister's place or whatever and mm -hmm. uh, took their vows. Okay. Um, can you tell me about your... Centerville, when I was 10 years old there. Mm -hmm. And Centerville's about five houses. And what got its name is there's uh, the three valley roads come together, and it's called Centerville. Mm -hmm. That's how it got its name. But before it was was named Centerville, it was named Burley. Oh, okay. We'll stop for a minute.